This drone is under $300, so let's go over its features in today's video. Drones are getting more popular every year. They're getting more flight time, smarter, more features, better camera, and cheaper. This is where the Potensic Atom drone comes in. Disclaimer, Potensic did send me out the Atom drone to test out, but they're not paying me and they're not seeing the video before I post it, so all the opinions are my own. If you guys want to check out the Potensic drone or any of the gear I'm using, I'll have everything linked in the description below. If you guys are liking the content, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's two different kits you can get for the Atom drone. You can get the basic kit where it's just the drone, one battery, and the controller all for $279, which is a really good price for what this drone has to offer. For $100 more, you could pick up the Flymore kit, and in my opinion, this is the one you're going to want to pick up. You get this nice case with spots for all the gear and three batteries. Now, the three batteries is key because you get about 25 minutes to 30 minutes of flight time per battery. Last thing you want to do is drive somewhere nice and have to turn around and go home when the battery dies. It just makes sense to have more batteries in my opinion. The charger has a button on each side so you can quickly check the charge of each battery. Let's move on to the controller. Build quality feels good and it can expand to fit any size phone you can have. The antennas fold out and can angle in many directions. You also have one button for camera mode and video mode. The dial here is for angling the camera up and down. The joysticks are hidden in the bottom of the controller and just screw in. The only complaint I have with the controller is the video and camera button. If you're recording a video, you can't take pictures at the same time. So you have to stop your recording, push the camera button once to turn to camera mode, and push it again to actually take the picture. And the same thing when you're in camera mode. You have to push the video mode once, and then push the video mode again to start your recording. There's been many of times I thought I was recording, but because I only pressed the record button once, it never started. You get a lightning, a USB-C, and a micro USB cable with a 90 degree angle to fit in the controller. And now for what you're really here for, the drone itself. The drone feels really well built. It comes in under 250 gram weight, so you don't need a license to fly it. And the camera is a 4K 30 FPS with a Sony CMOS sensor. And the video and photos the Atom could take are very good. The amazing video quality is in part to the three axis gimbal. The videos and colors looked great. I really enjoyed looking at all the footage I record after flying. I can't wait for fall and winter to take different kinds of videos. So this was my first experience flying a drone and it took about 20 minutes to get used to it. And it was so much fun flying. I didn't think I was gonna have as much fun as I did. The app does a really good job showing you all the information about your flight. The top right you have your controller signal, battery life, and how many satellites you're connected to. Just underneath that you have your camera settings. You can go into the manual camera settings just by clicking that. In the bottom left it shows your current distance, height, and speed of the drone. If you press the map in the very bottom right you can switch to the map view. This is nice because depending on where you are you might have a bad signal for the video. So it might be choppy or laggy. At least the map view will stay up to date so you can see where you're going and don't crash. The video feed was surprisingly good and would really only cut out if I was really far away or if I was blocked by a lot of trees or buildings. Going into the settings is where you can fine tune a lot of the settings for your drone, like turn on and off beginner mode. You have different flight speeds and it can reach up to 36 miles an hour in sport mode. Now I forget what the top speed was for the video mode but it was definitely nice to get smooth footage. Setting up a virtual fence is perfect for kids to stop them from crashing or going too high. Potensic says the max flight distance is 6k and I have gone nowhere close to that distance so I can't confirm that. That 6k distance is definitely in perfect conditions with no interferences around you. The farthest I got was around 3,600 feet, which is a little over 1K. I was a little nervous to go farther because if something did happen, I didn't want to have to walk through a bunch of farmer's fields to grab it.
Now it does a really good job at returning home if it does get disconnected. Just make sure you set your return height higher than anything around you since it'll just take a straight flight back to you and it'll crash into anything in its path. If the Adams gimbal ever gets out of alignment, you can go into the settings mid-flight and tweak the horizon to get it back level, and do a full calibration when you have the drone on a flat surface. There are two different gimbal modes for flying. The standard mode will lock the horizon, and the FOV mode will tilt the camera in the direction you're turning to give your video a more FOV look. The last camera setting will change how fast the camera will pitch. Personally, I like that setting a little slower because it'll make my video look smoother and more cinematic. The Atom is incredibly stable in flight and does a really good job flying in winds. If the winds are too high, you'll get a warning in the app saying you should land. Using the return home feature, the drone comes back pretty close to its home location, most of the time within six inches and once it was about a foot off. The follow feature is pretty good. It will always follow behind the subject and if it loses sight, it will just stop and won't reconnect. With no obstacle avoidance, you do have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't follow you into a tree. Overall, I think the Potensic Atom is perfect for beginners. At its price point, if it crashes, I don't think it'll be that big of a loss. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. If you guys want to check out the Potensic Atom drone or any of the gear I'm using, I'll have everything linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.